I am Mahfuzur Rahman, lecturer, Department of ICT. I hope you all are fine and safe at your home. So today we will discuss a very interesting topic. So our today's interesting topic is a networking device from your chapter 2. So today we will cover some important topic from networking devices. So what are the networking devices we have in chapter 2? It's a very interesting topic and important for your exam. So what are the networking devices and what is networking device? So networking device are the common components used to connect computers or other electronic devices together so that they can share files or resources like printers or fax and machines and other resources what we have to our friends, family and other corporate networks and any network we can share. We, we have to share our files and resources to another so that we have to use networking devices. So what you have then? Different networking devices. What are the different networking devices we have? Hub, switch, gateway, bridge, router and repeater. So these are the chronological uh, sequence of networking devices. Now we'll go through. First of all, what you have in hub? A hub is a common connection point for devices in a network. Hubs are commonly used to connect segment of all LAN. A hub contains multiple ports. When a packet arrives at one port, it is copied to the other port so that all segment of the LAN can see all the packets. So these are the basic from hub. Now we will see a pictorial definition of hub. So you see a hub are positioned in the central. Then this one, the hub is positioned in the central and this hub is connected with all the computers what we have you see the 10 computers are connected with hub if a packet receives in this hub the all these computer connected with the hub can see the packets easily so these are the concept of hub now we will see advantage and disadvantages of hub fast as compared to ring topology easy to modify and add new computers without disturbing the rest of the network Single computer failures do not bring down the whole network, eliminates the traffic problem. So these are the advantages what you have in hub. Now we will go through to disadvantages. If central hub fails, it takes down the whole network, slow in speed, require more cabling, so wiring costs tend to be higher, more expensive because of the cost of the contractors, concentrators like hub or switches. So this one is much more expensive than other concentrator like switch or any other things it's an expensive thing so if the central hub is fails it takes down the whole network so it's important and slow in speed and the data transmission speed is slow and it requires more cabling that means much more cable is needed to wiring so cost will be higher than what you or uh, what we expect in a normal connection now we have after that switch. A network switch also called a switching hub or bridging hub or officially called a MAC bridge is a computer networking device that connects devices together on a computer network by using packet switching to receive, process and forward data to the destination device. So these are the basics what we have in switch. A switch is called the like we use to switch on the fan, lights and, uh, and any other things in our household. So this one is another example for our networking devices we use. We can use switch so that multiple devices can be connected together or they can receive process and forward data to one destination to another destination. This is the sole job of a switch. So now you will see a pictorial description of a network switch you see a server is connected with a switch and printer and modem are also connected with a switch so these are the pcs like four pcs are connected with this switch so this four pc can use the same server they can use the same printer or they can use the same modem as they are for internet connection with their particular pcs or so that they can share their files and important uh, uh, information with each other by throw this network switch with the server. Now we will see the advantage and disadvantage of the switch. What are the advantages we have from switch? Efficient traffic management. We can, we can manage the traffic like 
data collision or the bandwidth or the huge load of internet uses we can control with this uh, this network device reduces network congestion that means the congestion of the network will be reduced here efficient use of network media that means no no network media can be uh, found to be remain idle in a working time it can be used efficiently messages can be sent to other dev others uh, uh, devices with the receiver down if the receiver will also down then we can send the message by through this switch disadvantage delay of storing and forwarding delay of uh, um, basically storing of information forwarding this information it may it the processing time is much more uh, higher than other devices costly intermediate storage basically when we're going to purchase a storage for the switch it it costs uh, higher than our budget now we'll move to the next topic what we have in gateway what is gateway a network gateway is an inter networking system capable of joining together two networks that use different base protocol a network gateway can be implemented completely in software completely in hardware also or as a combination of both depending on the types of protocols they support network gateway can operate at any level of the osi model it's a different level of model osi model what you have to follow in networking world in a networking world this model is very important to learn in your uh, upcoming study in a further higher study when you're going to study in network engineering you will know what is OSI model so now we will understand what is gateway so th this gateway is a basically a internet a networking systems a, a way or source so that we can uh, implement a, a combination of both in software and hardware and this protocol supports the network gateway can operate any level of the operation in OSI model so this is a pictorial definition of a gateway so you see the internet the world wide web and we are connected with a gateway our bangladesh are connected with a gateway and this gateway from this gateway we can uh, use civil servers civil workstations together now what we will have advantage and disadvantages of gateway it can function in LAN and WAN. You can use a gateway in LAN connection or in LAN, say, LAN, top, LAN connection or in a WAN connection. You can use it. It can function very well and connects devices. Can determine best path or route. Disadvantages. Expensive and must use routable protocols. Slower than a bridge. Slower than a bridge. Basically, it's in slower than a bridge. Now, bridge. A network bridge is a computer networking device that creates a single aggregate network from multiple communication networks or network segments. This function is called network bridging. A network bridge is basically a computer networking device that creates a single aggregate network from multiple communication networks or network segments. So this one is a pictorial uh, representation of a bridge. You see, we use two bridge in a two different connections to just make a bridge with this two particular connections so that they can uh, particular network they can connect together with the bridge the multiple networks can be implemented here and multiple uh, networks can show share their resources together with this bridge now what is the advantage and disadvantage of a bridge advantage of using a bridge extend physical network reduce network traffic with minor segmentation creates separate collision domain reduce collision connects different architecture disadvantage of using a bridge slower than repeaters due to filtering do not filter broadcast more expensive than repeaters basically it can filter the broadcast no it can filter the broadcast masses and uh, and another disadvantage of bridge is it slower the repeaters due to filtering because it filters the network from others now the very important thing is router what we use our home uh, very common phenomenally we use router so now what is a router a router is a networking device that forwards data packets between computer network it forwards the data packets between computer network routers perform the traffic directing functions on the internet a data packet is typically forwarded from one router to another router through the network that constitute the inter-network 
until it reaches its destination node. Now we will see a pictorial description of router. You see, in the internet is connected with the router, and our router is connect. It can help us to connect our uh, local devices like computer, it's a NAS, a laptop, and a squeeze box. Multiple uh, device we can connect with our with our with our router to use internet at our home, office, or anywhere else. Because router, it's a WLAN device. You can see we know WLAN device. We can we know already. Advantage and disadvantage of router: high safety, saving network bandwidth loading sharing and optimal path fast forwarding capability flexible network management rich network status better handling of multimedia good network adaptability excellent network compatibility and disadvantage it's a complex installation process you have to bring network expert to your home to configure a uh, router and it's high price and not supported in non-routing protocol if your internet connection doesn't support any routing protocol you can't connect yourself with a specific router so now the last topic what we have it's a repeater a network a repeater is a network device to use to regenerate or replicate the signal repeaters are used in transmission systems to regenerate analog or digital signals distorted by transmission loss basically it's an useful thing in our networking world we, when we are sending a data to a large path and somehow our data, data transmission loss is happen basically the signal is distorted by weather or the materials what we are used to transfer the signal from one place to another so we have to use repeater networking device is used to regenerate or replicate the signal and repeaters are used in transmission systems to regenerate analog or digital signals distorted by transmission loss so now we will see a pictorial uh, representation of repeater you see this one is a thin net or thick net basically thin net and thick net this one we use in coaxial cable method in coaxial cable we have two types of cable like thick net or thin net so here this connection can be uh, uh, merged together or the connection speed can be regenerated by this repeater we can use to regenerate our power of connections and things so these are the advantage and disadvantage what we have in repeater so a repeater can connect different types of media can extend a network in terms of distance does not increase network traffic disadvantage it extends the collision domain cannot filter data cannot connect different network architecture and limited numbers only can be used in a network what we where we can use a repeater Thank you. I hope you understand my today's videos and lectures. If you have any confusion or question, please do it at our WhatsApp group and you can feel free to comment at my videos comment section. Again and again I want to tell you a simple thing. Please stay at home for your and your family safety. Allah Hafiz. This is Mahfuz Rahman from Milestone College ICT department.